Good evening and welcome to a new episode of our program, The Daily Debates. Wednesday evening, I'm Yasmin Bakir. Tonight's segment's going to be divided, or tonight's episode rather, is going to be divided into two different segments. Now, in our first segment, we're going to be talking about Burundi's president's visit earlier this uh, morning to uh, Cairo, his meeting with President Abdel Fattah Hassisi, the joint press conference that was held between both leaders. Now, all of that is as part of the Egyptian support to the African continent and um, means to further develop the entire African continent that also comes and underlines um, the Burundian Egyptian relations on various levels in the upcoming period. It's a very important topic we're going to be talking about. Now in our second segment we have also a very interesting topic that we'll be discussing and 22 royal mummies are finally going to be um, moved or transported from its current locations at the museum in Tahrir Square to their final destination in full start at the National Museum of the Egyptian Civilization and um, that's going to be taking place on the 3rd of April. It's been long awaited for and uh, these royal mummies are going to of course be um, witnessed um, live coverage as they're going to be transferred to their final destination all as part of the sustainable development program that Egypt is working on in the field of tourism. Now before we start let's take a look at this report and the Egyptian Burundian um, visit today and the important uh, topics that have topped the agenda of this meeting. President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed Egypt's adherence to its water rights and the need to reach a legal agreement on the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam as he met on Wednesday with his Burundi counterpart Evaristi Nidaishimiye. Nidaishimi arrived in Cairo Tuesday night in an official three-day visit to Egypt in which he's scheduled to meet with several high-profile political officials. The presidency issued a statement which stressed President el-Sisi's affirmation that the water issue is of utmost importance to the Egyptian people as it is part of the Egyptian national security. The president called for reaching a legal agreement that includes clear rules for the process of filling and operating the dam. During their Wednesday negotiations, President Sisi and President Nedaishimiye agreed on the need to intensify coordination during the coming period on the sensitive and vital Jurid issue. The presidents also witnessed the signing of a number of MOUs for cooperation between both states. The signed MOUs are in the fields of integrated management of water resources in Burundi, the mutual visa exemption for those holding official passports, media, education, tourism and culture. During the meeting, Nedarishimiek hailed Egypt's pivotal regional role in preserving peace and security. He praised Egypt's stance, aiming to achieve stability in the Great Lakes, East Africa and Nile Basin regions. He praised the Egyptian significant role in resolving outstanding issues in this regard during the past period. Nedarishimiek praised Egypt's efforts to support the unity and sovereignty of Burundi in all international and regional fora. Both presidents discussed regional issues of mutual concern, and President Sisi voiced Egypt's support to the developmental needs of Burundi, especially in the fields of infrastructure, electricity, health, mining and agriculture. Welcome back again. You're still watching us here on The Daily Debate. And uh, to shed further light on the president of Burundi's visit earlier this morning, we are delighted to have joining us over the phone His Excellency Ambassador Ali Hifni, foreign, uh, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Thank you very much for joining us, Your Excellency. It's my pleasure. Pardon me, I can't hear you very well. If um, we it would just lift pleasure. up the voice. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes, now I hear you. Thank yes. you very much for joining us. Now, um, of course, the president of Burundi visited uh, President Assisi earlier here in Cairo. A joint press conference took place. Maybe if you would tell us about the important um, uh, topics that, um, or points of discussion on the agenda of this visit today, um, what can you tell us? Well, uh, the main topic was uh, the bilateral relations and how to improve those relations in the uh, coming future uh, and uh, we, we are not going to uh, start from the scratch in fact uh, uh, the history or the modern history of relations between Egypt and uh, Burundi goes back to the 60s and uh, so it's almost 60 years that we uh, have uh, uh, diplomatic relations and mm -hmm. since then 
we uh, have witnessed uh, a development in uh, our bilateral relations uh, and they keep on increasing and uh, 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 getting better and better. Uh, so this uh, visit, uh, it is uh, one of the first visits that uh, are uh, uh, affected by the new uh, president of Burundi, who has, uh, it seems, and as we have noticed uh, at the press conference today, uh, a, uh, an ambitious uh, plan for development for uh, his country. And of course, it's quite uh, 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 obvious and normal that uh, uh, he looks uh, upon what's happening in, mm. uh, in Egypt, uh, uh, what we have succeeded in uh, achieving, whether it is on the uh, level of uh, security, uh, um, uh, our success in containing terrorism, or uh, as far as the, the economic reform that we have uh, initiated a number of years ago here in Egypt and uh, are, uh, um, or is bearing uh, fruits today. So, in fact, uh, during the last six and seven years, uh, we have accumulated a lot of experiences and expertise uh, that we are, and as President al Fatah he has repeated it again and again, at uh, uh, different forums, at several occasions, uh, we are ready to share uh, such expertise and such experience with our uh, 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 sister uh, uh, countries in, in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, this is why uh, the, uh, the, the visit uh, bears the, 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 the meaning of uh, the existence of a political, joint political will to push forward and to uh, work uh, uh, diligently in the coming period in such a way that we could see those relations, bilateral relations between the two countries are uh, developing uh, further. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have talked about uh, uh, the bilateral trade, they have talked about uh, investments and the role that the uh, Egyptian uh, business community could uh, play uh, in uh, Burundi. Yes. Uh, and of course, uh, we have uh, been receiving, and we keep on receiving, we will receive even more uh, important numbers of uh, uh, Burundi's uh, clerks that come here uh, to uh, attend training courses in uh, several uh, discipline, several sectors. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is uh, um, also uh, uh, an issue uh, that is important for Burundi and uh, this is something that we could provide uh, uh, even more in the coming uh, future uh, and uh, uh, with the help uh, mainly uh, of the uh, Egyptian Agency for Partnership uh, for Development. Yes, Your Excellency. Now, Egypt has um, held the presidency of the African Union back in 2019. If we were to talk about the most important achievements um, that Egypt has made during its presidency in light of supporting uh, and pushing further efforts and developments and um, you know, sort of dealing with the African costs in general in the continent, uh, what can you tell us? I, I will talk about two uh, main, uh, or uh, let's say three main issues. First, we have uh, succeeded in containing terrorism, and uh, the whole continent is suffering out of uh, 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 terrorism, uh, the uh, uh, destructive role that is played by the terrorist organizations, the uh, militias. Uh, and even the mercenaries that uh, were brought uh, uh, into Africa by uh, uh, certain powers. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the uh, many uh, uh, foreign interventions in the uh, affairs of the uh, continents and some of their countries. Now, uh, Egypt uh, has offered and uh, is still offering, and if we, 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 we recall, uh, what President Fatah uh, Sisi has uh, offered uh, and suggested uh, in um, the African summit in 2020, mm. when he said that Egypt is ready to host a summit to discuss about that phenomena, that uh, 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 problem, that challenge that we are faced with 
uh, and that uh, could uh, get uh, uh, even uh, more threatening if we do not uh, work collectively uh, in a such a way that we could contain uh, this phenomena in, in our continent. Now, we have succeeded in Egypt in doing this uh, besides or parallelly as we are uh, building up, as we are uh, 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 striving to uh, achieve uh, development, sustainable development in our country. We have mm -hmm. uh, uh, had a very good uh, uh, economic uh, uh, reform policy, and we are ready to share this with the others in Africa. Now, the, the, the other thing that uh, the Egyptian presidency of the African Union has succeeded to do is to put the focus even more uh, through the different forums that uh, President Abdel Fattah has attended representing Africa uh, with regard to the need to invest more in uh, the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, because this is related to another to third issue that was the focus of the attention of uh, our presidency of the African Union and our president of the city is to uh, keep the momentum as far as the important agreement that we have signed in Africa in March 2018, hmm. creating a, um, a, an, uh, uh, an economic uh, free zone in uh, Africa. This agreement uh, uh, came into force uh, uh, beginning of this year, uh, in 1st January uh, 2021. So, uh, yes. uh, in fact, uh, um, the, 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 the two issues uh, were of a capital uh, focus uh, uh, through our uh, chairmanship of the African Union. From one side, uh, mm -hmm. calling upon our international partners to uh, help uh, even more uh, uh, with regard to investing in the infrastructure that uh, we need badly in Africa in such a way that we could enhance our uh, uh, trade within the continent, uh, uh, among African uh, countries. This trade does not represent but only 14% of the overall foreign trade of Africa with the rest of the world. Yes, very well. Um, Your Excellency Ambassador Ali Al Hefni, former Assistant Foreign Minister, we'd like to thank you very much for joining us here on our daily debate this evening. Now, we're still joined in and uh, we're still going to discuss further about the extended relations between Burundi and Egypt and all as part of, of course, the African cause and the development of Africa, t working towards a sustainable development program and the successful stories that Egypt has and the experience that Egypt can share with Burundi on different levels. We'll be back right after this break. Please stay tuned. Welcome back again. You're still watching us here on The Daily Debate. We're still talking about um, the Burundi's uh, president's uh, visit to Egypt earlier this morning. Not only that, but of course the Egyptian efforts towards the sustainable development program that fits the 2063 agenda, whether it's for the African Union or the 2030 UN agenda for sustainable development that um, puts in Africa as a whole continent together towards this path. To discuss further light on this issue, we are joined over the phone by His Excellency Ambassador Ahmed Haggag, who is the um, former Secretary General of the OAU, the Organization of the African Union. Thank you for joining us and good evening, Your Excellency. Good evening, how are you? Thank you very much for joining us. Now, in light of the visit of Brandon's president, and we've seen a lot of visits, um, whether they are visits from African leaders to Cairo or vice versa, the president holding visits to different African countries during the past couple of years. Um, let's talk about the African unity and how um, realizing the targets of the AU's 2063 um, agenda as well as the UN 2030 agenda for um, sustainable development is going to be achieved if Egypt continues um, its role in enhancing uh, this development in the African continent. As you know, Africa is composed of 54 countries. Egypt cannot do that alone, but it may, could, could make its a contribu contribution, and this is very appreciated by uh, African countries. Uh, Egypt is trying to cooperate with other uh, European Union countries, with the United Nations, with other funds in the Gulf, to render assistance to many African countries. And I think those projects are bearing fruit, especially in technical assistance, uh, as, uh, 
sending doctors, engineers, uh, university professors, or giving scholarships to African students uh, to study in Egyptian universities and uh, institutions. As you know, there are more than 10,000 uh, African students studied in gratis in those institutions. And uh, we are organizing also a lot of training programs for the, for the military diplomats, uh, uh, doctors, engineers, and so on. Mm -hmm. So I think Egypt is uh, one of the few countries which are uh, 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 reasonably uh, uh, economic uh, uh, assistance to many African countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Excellency, I mean, what gives Egypt extensive political influence, whether it's in the Middle East, in Africa, or even in the entire region today? Where does Egypt stand? What is Egypt what? Where does Egypt stand today, um, giving it an extensive political influence, um, not just in the African continent, but also in the Middle East and, and, and the entire region? We've seen a lot of initiatives by, uh, uh, sponsored by Egypt on various levels to um, sort of secure or maintain stability and security in many uh, countries um, around the region. And for instance, Libya, and, and, uh, which is neighboring here on the African continent. So what can we say about the Egyptian role today in the region? I think in the Middle East, the Arab world, and Africa, the Egyptian activities and the foreign policy is uh, very well known and is appreciated by the countries which we are trying to enter in bilateral relations or uh, giving um, uh, assistance. But what the political influence is, is a, a vague uh, uh, phenomena. It is not, could not be felt, but it's, I think with, uh, with such policies, it is being reciprocated by the other beneficiary countries. So we, one should not speak too much about political influence, but to try to use uh, the, your, your, your uh, uh, capacity in order to assist those countries free of charge and uh, wait for the blooming of bilateral relations later or uh, even in, uh, instantly like in Libya now. Mm -hmm. Libya, uh, the, the foreign minister, the prime minister and the president of Libya are in Egypt today after visiting France and I think this is uh, one of the uh, results of the patient Egyptian foreign policy in Libya. Mm -hmm. All right, Ambassador Ahmed Haggag, the former Secretary General of the OAU, the Organization of the African Unity, thank you very much for joining us on the daily debate. And um, we're done with the first segment. Now we're going to go to the most interesting part of the second segment. 22 royal mummies are going to be transferred from Tahrir Square's museum to Al Fustat at the um, final destination in a royal parade that's been um, awaited for so long. And it's definitely going to be a very exciting um, event to be witnessed by the entire world and uh, to be taking place on the 3rd of April. We'll be back right after this break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 